what's up y'all welcome back to my channel this is amber j so i wanted to give you this message um actually the holy spirit told me to uh record this um i was actually just in prayer and i was thanking the lord about um my growth and just thanking him you know for all of the spiritual growth that i'm currently going through right now it's just so amazing. So let me just give you a little bit of a uh, backstory. You know, back when I was um, what I call the hula hoop of sin, just going round and round and not really going nowhere, just kind of in bondage, right? So you know, um, there was a time in my life where um. You know, I, I just got tired of going to God and asking for forgiveness for things that I knew better about. You know, if you have somebody in your life and you love them and you keep doing something they don't like and you just keep asking for forgiveness, you know, you really don't love them. You really don't have a regard for them because when you really love them, it hurts you to hurt them. So I got tired of that, y'all. I got tired of going before the God with the same mouth I'm asking for um, uh, provision. The same mouth I'm asking for protection. The same mouth I'm asking for promotion. The same um, mouth I'm asking for all of these things. And I go back and use this same mouth to ask for forgiveness for something I knew I wasn't supposed to be doing. And here's the kick apart. A lot of that stuff I didn't even want to do. And that's how you know sin is a bondage. I didn't want to do it. I just felt like I didn't know, know another way. Right? And there was another thing. I got tired of the spirit of almost. I call it the spirit of almost. Like, I would be working hard towards something. And it never comes to pass. Last year, y'all, I spent... Oh my gosh, I was working... So many hours a day at a job I completely hated. <laughs> had to drive an hour there and an hour back. Because I wanted to pay off my debt to get a house. And I didn't get the house. You know, there was so many things. Like, just, like I said, just a spirit of almost. Now, the Bible says we're more than conquerors. But you got to conquer something to be more than a conqueror, right? So I got tired of it all and I couldn't blame the Lord because I knew there was things in my life I wasn't doing. I know I wasn't holding up my end of the bargain to, to look at God and be like, God, well, why? Or God, well, how? Or oh, God, why you didn't let this happen? Or why you let this happen? Or, you know, I, I knew I wasn't keeping my end of the bargain. So listen, y'all, they got a time. Like I said, I got tired of it. I got tired of it. And I pressed towards Christ more. I started fasting. I got rid of so much music, y'all. So much secular music, even if it didn't have curse words or, you know, vulgar language or anything like that. Because it was attached to my old way of doing stuff in um, my lukewarm ways where I would, you know... Um, Go out and go to a club at night and then go to church in the morning. Probably go serve church in the morning. So much, y'all, I got rid of. And when I got rid of it, y'all, let me tell you. Oh, baby. <laughs> I started operating in my gifts better. My prayer started getting instant instantly answered i could talk to god and hear from him immediately we're having grown up spiritual conversations spiritual grown conversations because i got out of that same old rigmarole of god forgive me god and all of that that i was doing was causing me not to progress in my walk not to progress in my calling right keeping me bound and in bondage but when i got rid of all of those things y'all I grew up a lot. I grew up so, so, so much. And in 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 uh things because I'm not carrying the, the bondage of sin and guilt and condemnation. You know, um, they say that there's no condemnation in Christ because <laughs> you gotta get rid of all those things that are condemning you. He has given us the capacity to get rid of all of those things that are condemning us. Right? So listen. I um got rid of all those things, you know, study. I mean, it just felt like a, a clean, a cleansing in the house. 
It just felt like a cleansing, you know, it, even in, in my spiritual house, my temple, my body, you know, um, um, and then also my physical house, you know, my dwelling where I live, everything just, you know, just got better. Things begin to flow. Um, just supernatural provision. I mean, uh, I mean, it just, it just, just so much that felt like it was uh, being held up, just got loose. I just began to move freely, you know, because I began to walk in my authority. So I wanted to give you guys this scripture, right? Because this scripture just, I mean, every scripture is true. But this scripture right here just completely embodies the message that I'm trying to give to you. And it comes from Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Excuse me, y'all. And it's this. It says, come to me, all you who are tired and are carrying heavy loads. I will give you rest. 29 says become my servants and learn from me i am gentle and free of pride you will find rest for your souls 30 says serving me is easy and my load is light i'm here to witness to you guys and to testify that serving him is easy serving him is easy and it is light he gave us his name to carry To walk in authority. To get provision. To rebuke and bind the devil. In his name. Listen you guys. I encourage you and I pray. I pray for you. And I pray. That if there's any sin that is causing so much bondage. And so much um, um, shackles in your life. That's just holding you down and holding you captive. I pray and ask in the name of Jesus that you let them go and get on this glorious side, this easier side. Because trust me, the Lord loves you more than you will ever know. You guys have a great night.